So we've just finished 11 days of amazing hiking on the Tour de Mont Blanc. For those who don't know what the Tour de Mont Blanc is, it's a 170 kilometer hike around the Mont Blanc Massif and it runs through France, Italy and Switzerland. We started this trail at the end of June, so at the beginning of the hiking season to escape the big crowds because it's a very popular trail. My name is Dane from Hikeaholics and this is my pack list for the TMB. If you're curious about the woman's pack list, Aletta made a video about what she brought on her Tour de Mont Blanc adventure. So make sure to check her video out as well. We'll put a link in the description box below. This is how I actually pack my bag during the TMB minus the video equipment of course and it has a base weight of 4 kilograms. The pack I used for this trail is the Herdegear Zyno 48 liter. It's a frameless backpack and Aletta made a video about her unboxing of this backpack as well so make sure to check that video out. I always carry my rain jacket on the outside for easy access when it starts raining. And one little book of all the trails as well. I put the GPS's in my phone, but if my phone dies, I always have the trail on hand. Very, very good tip as well. Then on the side, my water filter, Ketadine B3. There are a lot of points on the trail where you can refill your bottle. So I only brought one liter with a filter so you can have access to water everywhere. The belt pouch, it goes on the front of the backpack. To make it easier, I put it off now. And what's inside? Like the, the things you need the most on the trail, like a wallet, my phone, some sunscreen, painkillers, and some snacks, some extra energies, and UV lip balm, very wise as well. Then inside the bag. Since this is a waterproof bag, I always use an extra liner inside just to be sure. They say it's waterproof, but you never know when the rain is pouring down. So that's why I always bring an extra garbage bag. I put it out now because the sound wrinkles a lot. big food bag it's always handy to carry food in like one bag if you're hungry just grab the bag and you're good to go and i always bring this for light insulation it's an arteryx hoodie atom sl windproof i prefer that to a normal fleece which are not windproof so this is really good and it has a hood to protect a little bit from the sun this is my puffy jacket for the colder nights. It's a mountain hardware jacket. I think 60 grams insulation, very light, very, very packable. This is my rain pants. Doesn't win an award for beauty, but it's very handy. Rain socks, waterproof socks. You don't see these socks too often, but Aletta and I really love these socks. We wear ultra long peaks during the trail, which are totally not waterproof. So if it's pouring rain, we put on our rain gear plus the waterproof socks and you're good to go. These socks dry very quick and the ultras dry very quick as well. So that's a perfect combination. We heard people on the trail using Gore-Tex big shoes and it took them three days to dry their shoes. So this is my preferred method. Then, in Jinji, toe socks. Blister free since wearing in Jinji, really. Since wearing these socks, I never had blisters and I just love them. Very light, they dry quickly. I'm wearing one pair and one pair is in my bag. If one pair is dirty, I clean them in the night and dry them in the day after and wear the other pair. Some liner gloves. 
it doesn't get too cold on the trail but you never know so just to be sure very thin gloves and we love this for shooting videos as well if it's windy and chilly and you're you're holding your camera it can get very cold so that's why we wear these then last but not least when you arrive at a mountain hut one thing is sure you are very tired and you don't want to think about oh what i'm gonna wear for sleeping and afterwards so i always put it in one waterproof bag i can put the bag on my bed and i'm good to go now let's see what's inside this bag first is a mummy liner i think it's even mandatory in every hut to bring one um, it's a very thin very light and we use it to sleep in it doesn't get too cold in the um, in the huts and they have sheets there and it's good for hygiene reasons as well then this is just one comfy pants very light it's from patagonia i've been wearing this pants for two years almost loving it so this is the first thing i'll put on when i arrive at the hut Some warm socks, always good for in the night or when you're just walking around around the hut in the night um, or in the evening, bring them. This is my air light towel from Sea to Summit. Very small and this is an actual towel. Dries very quickly and it dries you very quickly and it weighs, I think, not even 40 grams. Really light. Then, in total, I always bring two boxers. One I'm wearing, one I'm carrying with me, same as the socks. I wear one in the day, clean it in the night and let it dry the next day while I'm wearing the one who's in here. Then, a headlamp. We didn't see that many people bringing a headlamp in the dorms, actually. They only use their phones, which, big tip, don't do that you wake everybody up this light has a function with a red light like you can see red light doesn't wake the people up in the night uh, in comparison to white light it's very bright always good to know and it doesn't happen that often but in case you arrive at a hut very late and it's dark you always have something to light your path and where you need to go This is my base layer. It's a marina wool base layer. It's very warm. It's from Icebreaker, very warm, and it has a zipper to let a little bit of heat escape. And base layer pants. To be honest, I used it once, but I would never leave this one home. Base layer pants is always good in case you get very cold on the trail uh, in the night. Always bring this one. Then my toiletry bag. What's inside? Toothpaste. To brush some deodorant you can get very smelly at the trail so i always bring a little bit weighs nothing and some facial cream with some protection as well very handy and some vaseline of course guys i think a lot of people know what i'm talking about if you're hiking every day and sweating it can be a little bit rushy down there sometimes. Always good to save and bring some Vaseline. And last but not least, earplugs. I could not go without them. In the dorms, a lot of people snore. So I always brought this and I cannot sleep without these, I think. And of course, what I'm wearing during the trail, my sun hat. This is my Solomon shirt. I have Solomon shorts as well. And like I said in the beginning, I wear ultra shoes. A lot of people wear big shoes during the Tour de Mont Blanc. To be honest, we didn't need them. 
I love these shoes in combination with the Injinji socks is my go-to combination. And for some protection, I have the Oakley's with this strap. I absolutely love this strap because like in the day, you can put it on and just do like this and you're, while we are shooting videos, we can go like this very easy. One thing we ditched halfway the trail are our micro spikes. There was the advice that in the beginning of June, there was still a lot of snow. So just to be sure, in the end of June, we brought our micro spikes. But I think on day three, we only had one big snow patch where we didn't even need them. So after day five or six, we just ditched them and never used them again. One thing that is very easy, we are a couple of course, so we can divide some gear between us. Maybe you noticed, but I didn't have any first aid kits or whatsoever in my backpack. Aleta carries that and she has two trekking poles and one of them I carry with me uh, for the trail for easier climbing. So if you're hiking as a couple, it's always good to divide some gear and split the weight. So this was everything I brought with me during the Tour de Mont Blanc. If you're curious what Aletta brought during her TMB, like I said in the beginning, we'll leave a link in the description. Same as for all the products I've shown here. We'll put a link of our pack list in the description with all the links to the products as well, so you can check them out for yourself. If you have any questions regarding this video and my backpack or any comments, things I didn't bring, what you would definitely bring, please let me know, leave a comment, drop a DM on Instagram. We'll put a link of our Instagram here as well. And definitely stay tuned because in the next couple of weeks, we will drop every video of our Tour de Mont Blanc tour, which was incredible, guys. See you in the next one.